Dragon Laura stealing my heart. heart. Cloudy and Wolfie make me howl at the moon. Uh, and you're the final fish in this lagoon. Uh, I clear the now, you so beguiled. Even though you act so vile. Oh. And Deuce has stone cold style. Oh. These are my boobs, my skeleton crew. A little strange, but so are you. Oh. Don't you want to be your monster too? One more time from the top. We're just too perfect. Only the top three teams get to attend the prestigious Gloom Beach Fear Leading Camp during spring break. And then it's on to the finals, the Monster Nationals, nothing... Frankie, or should I say, weak link. Well, see, I popped before I locked when I should have locked before I popped and then you got Stop. popped. Stop! If you ever want to get off Fear Leading Probation, you need to go and pull yourself together. Guya, get me something to drink, okay? Uh... The rest of you keep working. Give me that one, you take this one. Makes me face look blue. But your face is blue. Hey, Frankie, how's fear practice? Oh, uh, great. Sure it is. Yeah, I'm sure Cleo isn't demanding at all. Or overbearing. Or pushy. Or arrogant. Or nagging. Okay, but it's only because she wants the best out of us, and it's good to have goals. You know, d -Lo. It's Draculaura. Your shoulder, it's on fire. <gasps> You pretend you're not carrying a torch for me, but just watch. You're going with me to the Spirit Rally dance. Ow. Why'd you pinch me? Because you are dreaming if you think I'm going with you. Let's get out of here before you get owned anymore. He is so annoying. But he's kind of growing on me. Ew! Now somebody better pinch me. That was dreadful. <sighs> Are you kidding? That routine was amazing. Amazing isn't good enough. It has got to be flawless to get to Gloom Beach. You're right, as usual. I want to show you a new routine we've been working on. Give me a W, give me an E, give me a Q, U, I, T. We quit, we quit, we quit. What is this, some kind of lame joke? Oh, it's no joke. Your reign over us has come to an end. We're going to star in the school's big production of West Side Gory. That's what all the cool kitties are doing. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck at nationals. <laughs> Why are you still here? I'm so new. Nobody takes me seriously except you. And that's why I take fear leading seriously. So, I'm not going anywhere. Ugh, what took you so long? Uh, hey, I guess since I'm the only one left, you gotta take me off probation, right? Fine, you're promoted to the team. <laughs> Unpromoted. Come on, Guya, you've got to get to work on some flyers. We're recruiting some new blood. Tryouts tomorrow morning. Every ghoul in school is going to be dying for a spot on my squad, so we need to make sure we have enough applications. 3,000 should be okay for now. Are you getting all this? And no one is to look directly at me, unless it's in amazement. Prepare to do my bidding. <gasps> what? Well, I don't understand. <clears throat> Maybe I have been too hard on them. I thought I needed to be a strong ruler, a tough leader. But I guess I was wrong. Next time, things will be different. If there even is a <laughs> next time. <laughs> Cleo, idea! I can go recruit people, rebuild the squad for Cleo. Uh. I know, people think she's a total perfectionist, but that was the old Cleo. You saw her, she's changed. Uh. This squad is my legacy, my everything. Join the fear leading team? Only every spot open. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Laguna. Sorry, love, but I'm on the swim team. I made captain. Can't wait to hear you cheer me on. Change your mind about going to the dance with me yet? No. Now? No. Now? No. Now? No. 
Now? Yes! Okay, fine, what if? Oh, scorching! Did you just say yes to Heath Burns? He wore me down. I'm not proud. Who do you want to go with? I don't know. Someone special. Kind. Athletic. Someone like... Hey, how's it going? Hey, Claude. Someone like... Claude! Claude Wolf? No! Get real, he's Claudine's brother! So? So? I've known him since before he was housebroken. But you like him, right? I don't not like him, but there's a lot to deal with right now. We're friends, and that's how he'll always see me. Not if you join the fear-leading squad. Really? Totally! He'll see you as a part of the team. Okay, but Cleo... Changed. Okay, I'm in! <laughs> <laughs> Help, Cleo. Sorry, sister. I'm putting my paw down. I guess it's just me, Dracula, and Cleo, then. That'll look ridiculous. Wow. My whole social life over before it ever began. Wait. If there's one thing a wolf is, it's loyal. Cody, you're the best! Cleo's mellow now, right? I knew I'd get my team back. And to think I was gonna mellow out. Wait. What? First things first. Practice every day. Nights, weekends, eight-day weeks. You told them that, right? Well, that never really... Wonderful. We start at 6 a.m. <laughs> One more time from the top. You guys are an embarrassment to the art of fair leading. You are going to cheer at every school event between now and the game. Though they're beneath me, they're just right for you. Two, four, six, eight. One more move, it's checkmate. One and two and two and three, your queen's in total jeopardy. This critical and complex question strikes at the very heart of the world of the postmodern monster. Monster High Rebuttal. Your analysis is weak, your rebuttal's weak. Seven seconds left. Monster High debaters just can't be beat. Win, win, win. Put it through the rim. <sighs> you heard the Gloom Beach judges are coming to check us out tonight? Uh, I think someone's trying to get your attention. He burns. Ignore. I really wish Claude would look over here. Oh, I bet if we build an austacular pyramid with you on top, he'd totally notice you. Guys, I don't think you're ready for it. Hey, woohoo! Blood sausages! Get them while they're still beating! Uh, blood? Oh. That was awesome! You should have seen your face. Pam, total ownage. I think some kids have already posted the video of it on FrightTube. How could I have agreed to go to the Scream Team rally with a jerk like you? So don't. I'll take you. I told Heath I'd go with him. Hey, Burns, cool if she goes with me instead? Uh, yeah, of, of course, Claude. I mean, whatever. It's settled then. Pick you up at six. <sighs> okay. So... You're going to the dance with my brother, huh? Hmm. What's up, Cleo? You okay? No, I'm not okay. I'm embarrassed and humiliated. My reputation as fear captain is totally tarnished. I don't see how things could get any worse. We'll be in touch. Signed, Scary Murphy, Gloom Beach. <laughs> Hey, little sis. What's gotten into you? Flea problem? 
Like you don't know? Why are you taking Draculaura to the dance? Because Heath was being Heath. Okay, Claude, sit, stay. This is obedience class. I've got my friends over here and my family way back over there. That's the way I like it. So you stay in your yard. Got it? She is one of my best friends. So if you do anything, anything to hurt her feelings, I'm gonna be in your grill like a hamburger. Understood? Whoa, slow your growls, sis. Sure, she's a cool ghoul, but I've known Dracula since I was a pup. We're just going as friends, promise. Gloom Beach Fear Camp, we'll be in touch. Big day today, huh, Cleo? Big day? Why? What have you heard? Um, nothing? I'm just totally sparking for our big cheer. Oh, yeah, right. Big chair. Yay. I know we haven't been our best lately, but we are going to bring it tonight. You'll see. Aren't you going to put on your uniform? Of course. I, I was just about to. That's the way. That's the spirit. Why just talk when you can cheer it? <laughs> Aren't you wearing your fear-leading uniform? Uniform, uniform, uniform. I said, why aren't you wearing your fear-leading uniform? The rally is tonight. Aren't you totally charged up? Yes, of course. Tonight is a very big night. You bet your fangs it is. And we've got to be on point for Cleo. Okay, go get changed. Go, go, go! Get changed! <laughs> <laughs> Sup? Can I ask you something, ghoul to ghoul? Why are you going to the dance with my brother? Did I do something to you? Oh, no. It's not weird, is it? I hope it's not weird. I didn't mean to... It's not weird. Just as long as you're going as friends. Right? <laughs> oh, yeah, totes. Just friends. Bloodies. Hey, is that a new collar? Looks fab. Just friends. Oh, too much drama. I can't let this go on any longer. Tonight, I will tell Claude how I feel. Hey, don't you have a cheer to be getting ready for? What's the point? If we don't get into Gloom Beach Fear Camp, none of this matters. Oh, come on. You won't know till you know, you know? So stop worrying about it. Try to have some fun. Check this out. <laughs> They're raising money for the football team. It's a good cause. Adorable. Hey, it's Cleo. Gulia. Any messages? Attention, student body of Monster High. The spirit rally will now commence. Oh, oh, we're about to go on. Where's Cleo? It's not like her to miss a big cheer. I know. She's testing us. Duh. Gloom Beach Fear Camp is right around the corner, and she wants to know that we can think on our feet, be ready for anything they throw at us. So come on, let's show her we've got what it takes. And now, captain of the swim team, Laguna. The basketball team, Captain Log Wolf. Cleo's pretending not to notice us. That's her way of telling us we're boring. Let's kick it up a notch. Hey, girls, don't worry about that little spill. You're getting a lot better. I'm sure you'll make a big splash at Gloom Beach Fee Camp. Thanks, Laguna. Hey, aren't you gonna dance with Gil? He's smiling at you. Really? I wish things weren't so complicated. Friends can totally dance together. I mean, look at Dracula and Claude. I 
I guess it is weird. You know, there's something I've been meaning to tell you. Really? Me too. You go. Well, we've, like, known each other for a long time, right? And, I mean, you're friends with Claudine, and I don't want this to be all weird. But ever since you joined the squad... I think I know where this is going. You and I... Yes! ...are becoming really good friends. Of course I'll be your girlfriend. Oh, good friends. Yeah, total best. I gotta go. Wait. Gloom Beach, here we come. Invitation denied. All together now? <laughs> so, how's my brother? I don't know. You don't know? Nope. Guys, we got a problem. Leo's locker was wide open when I got here. That's weird. That's not the crazy part. Look at this. <gasps> she left her lipstick in her locker. She would not be caught in a sarcophagus without lipstick on. We go to find her. I bet she's in the gym or getting a smoothie. <laughs> Wait, I know where to look. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my ghoul. It's worse than I thought. I never thought I'd see Cleo like this. Crying? No. Cleaning. What's wrong with I'll you? I'll tell you what's wrong with me, weak link. Or should I say weak links? Us? You cost me an invitation to Gloom Beach Fear Leading Camp. We didn't get in? You have failed me. She's right. Except for Frankie, none of us gave it our best. I'm sorry, Cleo. We let you down. Guys, what are you doing? Um, it's over. We can still get into Gloom Beach. What are you talking about? Every year, Gloom Beach selects one fear squad as a wild card pick. Wild card? Any squad can get one million hits on Fright Tube. They get an automatic invitation. And you know this how? I can know stuff. It's on their website. We still got a shot. Gulia can make a video of us doing awesome cheers and bullicious stunts and pyramids. That's a great idea. Except for two little things. Like one, the deadline is in two days, and there's no way we could get a million hits by then. And two, we stink. Well, I'm not giving up. Squad, attention! It's going to take dedication. Check. It won't be easy. Like duh. I'll be yelling more than usual. What's new? Fear Squad. Party never does. Freaky shit can fly, monster high We're student bodies, we got spirits Yes we do, we got spirits How about you? We got spirits, yes we do We got spirits, how about you? We got spirits, how about you? Monster high, monster, monster high Okay, ghouls, here goes everything one, two, three, four. What's Gloom Beach got in store? Fear Squad, Fear Squad, yay! Fear Squad! Only 999,999 to go. Hurry up! I want to see how many views our video has. Yeah, I could hardly sleep last night. I was so excited. Only a million hits, and we are off to Gloom Beach Fear Leading Camp. I bet it's at 150,000 already. Hey! Only six people have watched it? That's impossible. We got a hit yesterday, and there's six of us. Oh, I haven't watched it yet. What? I got busy. You think these pores just shrink themselves? I can't believe this. Oh, Gills, I'm so sorry. Come on, ghouls. We can't give up yet. The website says the deadline was 3 o'clock. It's over. It's not over. Look, you guys picked me up when I thought it was hopeless. And now, as your beloved and way beautiful leader, I'm going to do the same. <gasps> not now, Gulia. I'm being inspiring. In my Freakonomics class, they taught us about marketing, how things get hot. There are things we can do to make this video go viral. Trust me, ghouls. Students of Monster High, your fear squad needs your help. Watch our videos! 
Tell your friends. Well, that didn't work. Oh. Not now, Guya. Frankie, do your fang. Gotcha. That's only 15 more views. At this rate, we'll get a million hits in about a million years. Oh, I'll be too old to go to Gloom Beach by then. Nothing is working, Cleo. What are we gonna do? We're running out of time. I'm thinking. Oh, oh, got it. We wait until the night of the full moon, and then I will, uh, uh, mm, don't got it. <sighs> what would get people to notice this video and send... Oh, my God, what is it already? <laughs> you can do that? Put our video on the homepage? Uh, Are you serious? Every time somebody clicks on the video, it'll give the viewer the choice to send it to everyone in their address book? That's amazing! Guya, that's total genius. Why didn't you say anything before? <laughs> Goya, it's working! Oh, I can't believe it! We're gonna make it! We're so close! <laughs> Why'd it stop? No, no, no. This can't be happening. Go, you do something. I can't see. What's going on? The girls can get into the Gloom Beach Fear Leading Competition if they get a million hits on Fright Tube, and they're way close. But they gotta get it by 3 o'clock. Oh, I thought it was something I cared about. Why isn't it working? This is a tragedy. What's not working? What? Down in front, I can't see. Okay, hang on. It says here that the site shut down. What? So nobody can watch it now? Yeah. One minute to go. Go, 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 I can't believe this. We were so close. Excuse me. Coming through. <sighs> what did I miss? Ghouls, I want you to know how royally proud of you I am. You're going to make me cry. <gasps> I'm serious. The way you came together as a squad to try to make this happen. Well, you guys have got more spirit than any ghouls I have ever met. And that's what Fear Squad is all about. <laughs> I'm not crying, as if... Cleo, Cleo, check it! It's all over the Monster News Now site. Fright Tube crashed because of all the traffic to a single video. Your video! No way! I knew you could! Uh, whoa! Ten million hits! That broke the all-time Fright Tube record! But what does this mean? Did we get in? Huh? I can't look! What's it say? Monster High Fear Squad, you are hereby invited to attend Gloom Beach Fear Camp! <laughs> Congratulations to the Monster High Fear Lady Squad who have just been invited to Gloom Beach Fear Camp. Way to go, girls! How many swimsuits should I bring? Is 40 pairs of shoes enough? Is there a suitcase limit? Congrats, girls. I'm so happy for you. Aw, you are so nice. We're totally pumped. Oh, I wish you could come with us. What are you talking about, love? I go to Gloom Beach every spring break. Me dad says they got the best underwater camping this side of the Barrier Reef. This is so awesome. Everybody together. We're gonna have the time of our lives. Okay, on three, everybody. One, two, three, Gloomish! Beach towels? Check. Shoes?
shoes, 10 pairs of flats, 9 boots, 8 sandals. Is that all? For today, yes. Fashionable and functional. Hey, now, look alive. The Gloom Beach bus has arrived! <laughs> Aren't you guys super pumped? Pumped! Oh, I knew I forgot something. I do hope you save some room in there for your fear leading uniforms. You're wound too tight. Gloom Beach is about more than fear leading. Yeah, the North Beach is totally amazing. There's a big lake, fun games, all our friends. Too bad we'll be spending all of our time on the South Beach at the Fear Leading Academy. All our time. Every year, the prestigious Gloom Beach Fear Leading Academy awards the spirit staff to the best team. And every year, that team has gone on to win nationals. Coincidence? Hardly. We must have that stick. Apparently, Monster High used to win the spirit staff all the time. Back when we were... Good. G'day, girls. I'm stoked about spring break at Gloom Beach. Can't wait to hit the water. Back in your natural element, huh? No, I'm salt water, mate. Gill is fresh water. But you better believe I can still hold my own. How about a little song? Oh! I'm just warming up. <laughs> better. <laughs> oh, wait. If one cloud world is good, how about two, three, four, five? Oh, I just love Gloom Beach. Hey, it's my dream, right? Frankie, it's my ankle. You're going to have to lead the team. Uh, me? You can do it. We all believe in you, Captain. He can't breathe. He needs water. Now that I've got the spirit staff, nothing can stop me. <laughs> oh, Cleo, oh, wake up! Uh, We're here! Uh, Ladies, welcome to Gloom Beach. It's even more beautiful than I imagined. Ooh, refreshing. A ghoul could get used to this. Finally, we're all getting the recognition and respect that I truly deserve. Mr. Hack, bring our bags around front. Your cabin is in a slightly different location. Wild cards. <laughs> Come on, it's not that bad. It is a dump. You said it, Ghoul. It's not exactly the four screamers. Why do we have to stay here when all the other teams are in luxury bungalows? Scary Murphy is a fear leading legend. She must have her reasons. So you keep saying. Gary Murphy? So, you're the wild card team. Not much to look at, are you, Buttercup? Oh, we were just on a... Quiet! Now, this won't cut it. Your posture? Dreadful. Your attitude? Awful. Hustle up, lady! Move, move, move! <laughs> As the wild card team, got a lot to prove, Turtle Dove. What do we learn first? Advanced pyramids? Intricate dance routines? I've got something a little different in mind for you. Leave. We have to prepare lunch for all the other teams. I'm sure Scary Murphy knows what she's doing. Now we gotta mow the lawn? This lady's getting on my last nerve. Scary Murphy's the ultimate fear-leading guru. If she says cut the grass, you just say, how long? is more like it. Tell me about it. Nothing to do but sit and daydream. Sigh. I can't believe we wasted a whole day doing stupid chores for Scary Murphy. What did any of that stuff have to do with fear leading? I don't know, ghouls, but I believe in Scary Murphy. Yeah, score! <laughs> Not bad for a seawater gal. Thanks, mate. You're not bad yourself. For a freshwater bloke. I told the other girls I believe Scary Murphy has a plan, but I'm not so sure. 
Torlai, what are you doing here? Bloom Beach is where all the cool cats and kittens come for spring break. South Beach is for fear-leading squads only. No quitters allowed. Oh, don't get your bandages in a wad. We just came by to tell you congrats for making it to Gloom Beach. Oh. Thanks. And that's why we're willing to come back. What? Now that your fear squad is hot again, we want to be back on the team. I see how bad you want that spirit staff, and we're your best chance to get it. You're right, Torlai. I do need you. <laughs> Told you. To shine my spirit staff after I win it. What? <laughs> I wouldn't take you back if you were the last conniving kitty on Earth. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to get back to my team. You just made some powerful enemies. Better watch your back. <laughs> having an awesome time at Gloom Beach. Sure, it's been a lot of hard work. If I dust anymore, my arm's gonna fall off. <laughs> Mine already did. Scary Murphy is playing us. None of the other teams are doing this stuff. Bats! Those girls are from Smog Snort's Vampire Academy. <laughs> they all think they're so hot. Why? Because they're, like, tall? Maybe because they've won Mashinals four years in a row. They're our biggest competition. Do they store a mean pot of soup, too? Chill, ladies. Guya and I have been working on something ultra hot. It better be, because those smog snort snobs will do anything to win. Anything! But it wasn't all work. We were able to get in some much-needed R&R at the beach while Cleo and Guya worked out our routine. <laughs> Gil! When I help me flog some drongos at Monster Polo? Uh, I can't. Come on now, Freshie. One game? We're such a good team. Uh, that was not a good time. Well, when? I don't know. I don't want to talk about it. Come on now, mate. You can tell me anything. Well, I can't tell you this, okay? I don't want to hurt your feelings. The beach was so much fun, but we had work to do. With Cleo's creativity and Gulia's eye for advanced physics, they came up with the perfect routine for us. That looks complex. <laughs> That's right, Gulia. It's been scientifically designed to win. All we have to do is learn it. Hey, pets. How's it going? What do you want? We just wanted to wish you luck before your big cheer. Anything else? Mm. Is that your routine? Yeah, it's amazing. This is an A-B practice, so see you later, traders. Let's get started. Oh, I'm gonna film it on my eye coffin so my parents can see. We start with a double jive hand wheel, then foot spring into a triple back layout. Everything was going great. Hi, it's Frankie, me. <laughs> daughter. Okay, I'm totally confident in our routine. As you just saw, we're gonna blow smog snorts out of the water. Oh, hang on a sec. Hey, Frankie. I just wanted to say that even though I'm not part of the team anymore, I really do want you to win. That's so nice of you. Oh, I was just finishing my video letter to my folks. I was gonna email it, but there's no Wi-Fi here. Oh. Well, you know, I can mail it for you. Just give me the thumb drive. Thanks. You're the best. Gotta run, Mom and Dad. See you soon. Wish us luck. <laughs> Wanna watch the Monster High routine again? Thought so. Oh, you're welcome, by the way. So relaxed, I can hardly stay awake. <sighs> Don't get too calm. We've got the biggest cheer of our lives tonight. I want you ready. Chillax, fearless leader. With the routine you and Gulia came up with, we can't be beat. No thanks to Scary Murphy and her dumb chores. She has a plan. You just have to believe. Gil, you've been avoiding me all week. What's caught in your net? My parents don't want me hanging out with you. What do you mean? Because your people are from the sea. So? I'm from freshwater. It's forbidden. You don't believe that cod swallop, do you? No, but my parents do, and they won't allow me to be around you. I'm sorry, Laguna. Just picked up the mail. 
can you put mine on the bed, please? I'm still getting ready. Me too. Me three. Frankie, Draculaura. Oh, why would Draculaura be getting a letter from my brother? Just friends, huh? Oh, small, small vocabulary. Let's go size up the competition. Yeah, let's see what a second place routine looks like. <laughs> Aren't those your moves? That's right. Your routine, scientifically designed to win in the hands of the enemy. I wonder how that happened. My video. <sighs> Told you to watch your back. Monster High wants the spirit staff. Yes, you do. But we stole your routine. Boo hoo hoo. <laughs> Good luck. You'll need it. It's over. After all my hard work. Our hard work. And now up Monster High. What are we gonna do? We can improvise. We just have to remember our Gloom Beach training. All we learned was a bunch of useless chores. <gasps> oh, Scary Murphy is a genius. Just follow my lead. Yo, I hope you know what you're doing. Just believe. something special inside of you, sweet potato. That's why I was so hard on you. I wanted to bring out your best. Thank you, Ms. Murphy. Congratulations to Monster High, winners of this year's Spirit Staff. I can't believe it. Best day ever. I can barely hear you singing my praises. Jealous? Why don't you take a picture? It'll last longer. Don't mind if I do. You got some real nerve showing your whiskers around us after what you did. Is that any way to talk to the new editor of the Monster High Fear Book? You're the new editor? And I thought you knew everything. Everybody reads the Fear Book. And you might say that I have a significant influence on how everyone sees you. Forever. So. How about a quick shot? Fine. Get this over with. A little to the left. Perfect. Smile. The captain should be up front. <laughs> Must have been a quick downpour. <laughs> Why didn't I know that Torlai is running the fear Did you book? get the text? Text? I'm the one who sends the texts. You're probably just out of the loop because fear leading took up so much time. Out of the loop? I am the loop. Frankie, have I become socially irrelevant? Oh, why am I even asking you? Everyone's wearing boas, Cleo. <laughs> this can't be happening. Hey, D. Uh, didn't see you there. My name is Draculaura. D is a letter, and apparently you hate letters. What are you talking about? I wrote to you every day at Gloom Beach. You never wrote back. Hey, I totally wrote back. I don't even want to talk to you right now. I'm telling you the truth. I wrote you back. <laughs> oh, I know they're in here somewhere. Aha! One of these has the power to see into the future, to keep me on top of all trends. <laughs> Yes, Gulia, or unleash one of the several Egyptian plagues. But what are the odds of that? <laughs> Mighty Tonum Fierce and Mean, make me queen of the social scene! Oh, what is the meaning of this? <sighs> I give up. Laguna, wait. Gil, I get it. You can't be seen with a saltwater gal. It's not me, it's my parents. It's just it. You don't even stand up for yourself, mate. Laguna. <sighs> what are you doing out here, little fella? That settles it. There's nothing I can do to regain my rightful place atop the school social pyramid. If anyone did that, then they would be the talk of the school for sure. Me, I'm doing it. Me and my ghouls were all over it. Really? That's so brave of you, Cleo. Because 
No one's ever spent the night at Monster High on Friday the 13th. Friday the 13th? I just sent the text telling everyone you were doing it. I, I could send another one and tell them you're too afraid. We're not afraid of anything. That's the spirit. <laughs> Friday the 13th. I can't believe Cleo is making us spend the night here. <gasps> you want to spend the night here on Friday the 13th? <laughs> the school's charter states that I cannot stop you. You face a night of ghastly terror and unknowable horrors. No one's ever made it the whole night. Unknowable? Is that bad? Who knows? I'm not sticking around to find out! Nightmare Tally Ho! <laughs> Thanks again for staying with me, cool friends. Toral, I was just trying to make us all look bad. Mm -hmm. Friday the 13th is the anniversary of something horrible. They say that once the sun sets, a creature is awoken. He lurks about the halls of Monster High, prowling for victims. <laughs> Ew! Oh, that's ghastly. Ladies, it's clearly just a rumor. <laughs> we should split up, throw him off our trail. Meet you in the Crepateria. We gotta move! We split up, just like me and Claude! He never wrote me back! He doesn't care about me! He did write you back! I hid the letters, okay, Obera? No! You're supposed to be my best friend! Why would you do that? Can we talk about this when our lives aren't in danger? Oh, sure! Real convenient! <sighs> Look, I'm sorry! Big guy? <laughs> Friday the 13th isn't the anniversary of something horrible. It's his birthday. Oh, he's just lonely. <laughs> but this hair, who's your stylist? <laughs> We've got to get you a makeover. <laughs> no way those scaredy cats made it the whole night. Hey, Torlai. Best night ever. Miss us. But how? more than my royal sensibilities can possibly bear. Cleo? <laughs> we were just talking about how ultra lame Cleo and the Fear Squad are. Hey, those are my mates you're knocking. Well, maybe you should get better mates then, eh? <laughs> <laughs> you mean mates like you? Hey, girls. Claudine, how's things with you and Draculaura? She ain't talking to me. Neither is Claude. How's the sitch with Gil? Oh, better now. But it's so complicated, you know? I heard that. Cleo, how's Deuce? I swear, that boy drives me crazy sometimes. <laughs> I heard that! <laughs> Frankie, please. You wouldn't understand. You're too young. It says in my Teen Scream magazine that mature girls like to talk about relationships. If you aren't in one, you may be left out. What do you mean? I, I totally understand. Really? Of course I have a boyfriend. You do? Where is he? Who is he? What's his name? We want to meet him. Um, well, you can't meet him now. Why not? He didn't come to school today, but he'll be better by tomorrow. You can meet him then. We look forward to meeting your boyfriend. Totally. Okay, well, um, I, I better go call and check on him. The only way I was going to get a boyfriend by tomorrow was to make one. No prob. My dad did it all the time. How hard could it be? Well, I 
guess you'll have to do. Hey, man. That's awesome you and Laguna are cool again. I just feel terrible that I lied about my parents being okay with us hanging out. If she finds out, she's gonna be way upset. I know. Jealous much? <laughs> oh, you're so funny. <laughs> what? Dance right here? Oh, <laughs> so romantic. Aren't you going to introduce us? Sorry. <laughs> this is, um, Hoodooed. <laughs> He's been just dying to meet you. Oh, what's that? <gasps> Two tickets to Justin Bider? Oh, you are the best, Hoodooed. Have you been reading those lame teen magazines again? Maybe. You don't have to have a boyfriend to fit in with us. I don't? No. You're fun and interesting and awesome all by yourself. That is a relief. I mean, I see all the drama you guys are dealing with, and I know that I am just not ready for boys yet. Even ones I made myself. You're breaking up with me after all we've been through? Why? Why? <laughs> such a cute couple. Not in the mood. If my brother and my best friend were embarrassing me in front of the whole school, I'd be in a bad mood, too. <sighs> you know as well as I do, they don't belong together. It's just not right. They're just too different. Draculaura must really be crushing on Claude if she's actually eating lunch with him. I don't follow. She's a total hardcore vegetarian. She gets a woozy even at the sight of meat. I bet Claude doesn't even know she's a vegetarian. Oh, Frankie, you've given me the best idea. Cool. <laughs> Uh-oh. And boom, game over. <gasps> that was amazing. Claude, you know you have a big game tonight. What you need is a big bath. Jake. <laughs> Draculaura! What are you all staring at? Frankie, get me out of here! Draculaura! You're just going to chase after her now? Of course. She's not one of us, Claude. She sees a tiny piece of meat and she faints? You knew that would happen, didn't you? And you did it anyway. I hope you're proud of yourself. It's a Monster High tradition to prank the graduating seniors in two weeks. We could use somebody like you. <sighs> you seem to have a natural talent for treachery. <sighs> Watch where you're going, Normie. A Normie in a monster school? Just transferred in. My cousin, Jackson. Your cousin's a Normie? It's a long story. Well, we can't just stonewall your cousin like that. Monster High is about being cool to everyone, no matter who or what you are, even if what means Normie. Hey, Jackson, got a spot over here for you. Draculaura? I never should have done that to you. I don't even know why I was mad. I told myself that you were too different. But now I know it wasn't about you at all. It was about me being scared of losing my best friend. Can you ever forgive me? That was the most beautiful thing I've ever heard. Um, <clears throat> I'm so sorry. Of course I forgive you, silly. Our friendship is more important than me seeing Claude. It's a little weird for me, but I'll get over it. Besides, you're the only girl I know who's good enough for my brother. Go, Gil! Going for snacks. You guys want anything? I'll take a hamburger and a hot dog and... Oh, yeah. Nah, I'm cool. a perfect shot for the fear bug. <laughs> Next. Did she call me? <sighs> I'm sorry, I don't speak zombie. <laughs> Cleo will sign your fear book now. Hey, 
I just got my fear book. Want to check it out? We look amazing. Maybe later, huh? We gotta cram for our biteology final. I can recite all the elements in reverse order. Want to hear? Well, um, I'm really late for that thing over there. Hey, congrats. There's some gnarly shots of you two in the fear book. How great is that? Awesome. Looks like our stars have arrived. I did a whole spread on just you and Gil. Everybody needs to know what a great team you are. And now, they will. Signing all those fear books was hard work. The price of fame. Mm. Mr. Rotter, you make dead languages live again. Well, I did learn them in the original. What? Least denial. If you're planning on using those for some sort of graduation prank, I strongly suggest you reconsider. No idea how those got here. You better keep your eye on that fear leading team, Mr. Rotter. This one's me favorite. Gil, which one do you like best? I don't know. They're all terrible. I know. She should have used a fisheye lens. Not that. I need to tell you something. Okay. I never told my parents about us. You lied to me? How could you? You know how they feel about saltwater folk. They threatened to send me to an underwater boarding school if I kept hanging out with you. I had no choice. I'm gonna be late for the big test. Laguna, wait. Pencils down, pass your exams to the front. How did you do? Nailed it like a coffin, sister. <laughs> <laughs> Rotten gargoyle eggs? Is the fear-leading team planning something I should know about? No, sir! I don't know where these came from. So you say. I think I know how to fix this. You're gonna tell your folks about us? No, I just won't show them the fear book. They don't need to know. Either you agree with them or you don't. And if you don't, then you need to do something about it instead of acting like a frightened dingo. I don't even know who you are anymore. I just need Gil and Laguna, and then I've got everybody's signature. Hey, you dropped this. Wait, this isn't mine. What is it? Recipe for stink bombs. Weird. What happens if I tell them and they send me away? Then I'd lose you forever. Don't do it for me. Do it for you. You can't let their prejudice run your life. Sign my fear book? Oh, uh, sure. This is the first year they're putting a copy online, too. What? Yeah, they're emailing it to everybody's parents. Isn't that cool? I think it is. What do you think, teammate? Oh. Behind all of this? Yeah. It makes perfect sense. That fraudulent feline's trying to set us up. When your parents see that pic of you and Laguna in the fear book, they are gonna blow up. I gotta call them and explain that it was all a big misunderstanding. Hey, Mom, I need to explain something to you and Dad. <sighs> Laguna, wait. You've always taught me that saltwater people weren't as good as us freshwater people. You said that they were untrustworthy, uneducated, that they smelled terrible. Hey! But above all that, that they were dishonest. Well, now I know that you were wrong. I have a, um, friend, and she's the most honest, decent, amazing monster I know. She's from the sea. What did they say? They don't feel the same way, but I've never felt better. So... Hey, um, see you at swim practice, pal? Yeah, see you there, mate. We know it was you. Don't try to deny it. The most perfectly epic plan ever. Of course it was me. <sighs> That's right, Guglia. The balloons will fall at the end of graduation, and one of them contains a spoiled gargoyle egg, releasing an ectoplasmic stink bomb. And Mr. Rotter is going to think it was us! Exactly. Then you'll be expelled. But why? Because with you gone, the Fear Squad is ours for the taking. We'll rule the school. <laughs> You just admitted your plan to us. How dumb is that? It's too late. Graduation already started. Come on, let's go. They'll never make it. Lantern, Jack, Roll, Man, Oog, E. We'll never find the right one in time. This is a perfect spot to watch the show. I can smell it. I know which one it is. It's there. Great, we know which one. How are we going to get up there? Why don't we do what we do best? Reaper, Grim, D. 
Hmm? We gotta hurry, we're running out of time. Hey, Frankie, lend me a hand. <laughs> we did it! Yeah! Goya, on your computer when important things are happening. <gasps> 800 math credits each? Goya, you're a genius! <laughs> Three of our students have achieved the highest math scores in the history of Monster High. They are awarded full scholarships to attend the prestigious Trigula Calculometry Summer Camp effective immediately. I wonder who those three uber nerds are. Over? It went by so fast. Oh, uh, we gonna get to see each other at all over the summer? I'm sure my parents are mad now. They'll come around. I hope you're right, Freshy. <laughs> <laughs> Salty. The worst part about school ending? Realizing your brother left his old gym socks in your locker? Gross. No, missing out on all the juicy gossip. Which is why I signed up for auto updates on the ghostly gossip. What's that? Only like the foremost authority on the Monster High social scene. If it's happening, she blogs about it. Who is she? Nobody knows. She's like a mystery dipped in secret sauce. Oh, can Gil and Laguna survive the summer? <laughs> Drama! Come on, Manny. Can't you give me a break? Sure, Normie. What do you want me to break? Your glasses or your arms? Against the rules, the bully. Who are you calling a bull? Did I just walk into the monster preschool? No. Then why are you acting like such a child? What would your sister Minnie think of this behavior? You're not gonna tell her, are you? <laughs> Leave him alone. Thanks. Uh... Frankie, I know how hard it is being the new kid here. I mean, like, you don't fit in. I fit in my lockers, trash cans. You'd be surprised what those guys fit me into. I'm, um, Jackson. Nice to meet you, um, Jackson. <laughs> We can't let my dad find out that I broke my eye coffin. It's just one more thing he'll use to compare me to my older sister, Nephera. Thank Ra she's out of the country, too. Uh... She once threw a huge party. She blamed it on me. And that's why I'm never allowed to have a big party at my place when my dad's out of town. Cleo's dad out of town. Big party at her place tonight. Big party at Cleo's house tonight? It's all over the school. Do you want to go to Cleo's party with me? Um, sure. I, I mean, uh, I want to. You're nervous around monsters, but you'll be with me. Okay. Awesome! <laughs> uh, I mean, cool. Whatevs. <laughs> Meet you there. Wow. Careful. How do we get in? Like this. She's out getting her new phone. Wait, how did she send the text about the party? Well, she didn't. The ghostly gossip did. Oh, <gasps> so Clea doesn't even know about this? Oh, no. That means we broke, broke in. in. Quick, we've got to get everyone out before... Oh, my. Raw! Um, I, we can explain. You threw a party for me? Awesome! See me own those three. It was. I, I can't be around you right now. Zappy thinks her dog is a pig. Kicks him to curb. I am sizzling. Cleo endangers guests with busted party favors. How's Gil enjoying his summer vacation so far? He hasn't returned any of me texts or emails. His folks were pretty aggro about him being with me. It's the first day of vacation. Uh, he's probably just busy. Yeah, sure. Hey, Heath, have you seen your cousin? He was supposed to meet me here. You got stood up by Jackson? Awesome! Oh, eh, but don't feel too bad about it. What do you expect? He's a normie. Just go in there. You can do this. No, you can't. They don't belong. Nobody wants you there. Frankie does. She 
She's not dumping you, dude. She totally is. I eat like a pig. Typical wolf behavior. Of course Dracula is gonna be too embarrassed to be with me. Yo, this ain't a party. <laughs> this is a party! Let's do this. Your boy, hold hide on the squeals all stale. Yeah, yeah, yeah! Yo, high-powered hottie. Who, me? Yeah, you're the only one electric enough to save me. All right, Ricky Feinstein saves the day. Yeah! Oh, please. I know I'm an animal. But I can change if you just give me another chance. I don't want you to change, silly. Then why'd you push me away? Because you are eating garlic. I'm a vampire. I can't be around you when you eat that. Now go brush your teeth and we'll dance. <laughs> this party really got out of hand. Every monster who's any monster showed up. There's already dozens of pictures up on the ghostly gossip. Remember when Assistant sister Nephera threw that bash and blamed it on Cleo? I'm worried about it getting into trouble. She was grounded for a month. Big shout out to Cleo for throwing the bash of the century. Wow. Even when I don't know about it, I still throw the best parties. Yeah, but if your dad finds out my father is out of town, he won't find out unless somebody tells him. And who would do that? That would be me. Never. What are you doing back? Don't worry your mediocre-looking little head about that. You've got bigger things to worry about. Like how to keep me from telling Dad about this party. Please don't tell him. I'll do anything you ask. <laughs> That's what I'm counting on. Prepare yourself, little sister. This is going to be the worst summer of your life. <laughs> Didn't you hear? Her parents won't let her go to Necrocon this year. Oh. Uh, wasn't today the last day? She was waiting all summer for this. Dead Fast is her favorite comic. She has every issue. Except one. The scarce and elusive Dead Fast issue zero. Only one copy is known to exist, and they were going to raffle it off today at Necrocon to one lucky monster. And her dream is to be that monster. But she can't go. I just wish there was something we could do. Mild-mannered high school student Gulia Yelps finds herself at the Necrocon, surrounded by her fellow nerd, uh, comic book lovers. Great galloping ghost! Is it? Can it be? Yes! It's a mint condition. Dead fast. Issue zero. The rarest comic book known to man or monster. <laughs> Tis I, the Shadow Poacher. Behold your precious comic book now. I shall destroy its value. Oh, the humanity! Can anyone stop the Shadow Poacher before it's too late? <laughs> Bitten by a radioactive hummingbird, mm, dead fast. Once a normal zombie boy has been granted the power of super speed. And now, those same powers have been transferred to his number one fan. Go get him, Coolia. Taking it out of its protective sleeve. And for my final act of disrespect, I shall leaf through its pristine pages while drinking a sticky soda and eating cheese puffs. How did you get up here? Never matter. Have a nice trip. Um... Julia, you've defeated the evil Shadow Poacher and restored the comic to its rightful place. Comic book lovers everywhere owe you a debt of gratitude. Uh... Leo, I can't believe you were able to get that for her. It's easy to win a raffle when you can make all 10,000 of your servants enter. That is so sweet of you, love. Well, she does so much for me. I thought I should do something nice for her. But don't tell anyone. It'll totally ruin my rep. 
You know the only thing good about summer being over? Back, Back to, to school, school shopping. shopping! Hide home goals, show and tell time! Let's see what you got! Oh, cute earrings, ghoul! Burberry! Sweet bag! Is that the new box snakeups? Oh. The John Mall Ghost DA! Boo, boo, boo! Gofana! Sasquatchy! Cadaver! Here you go. Laguna, everything okay? Hmm? Oh, yeah. It's just. Well, I haven't heard from Gil all summer. I'm worried about him, you know? Well, don't be worried. He's probably just busy. <gasps> Wow, I bow to your superior shopping ability. As much as I love people bowing to me, none of this is for me. What? It's all for my sister, Nefera. I can't believe she's still blackmailing you for the party. Believe it. She makes me wait on her hand and foot. Your sister's so mean. My gorgeous, perfectly shaped ears are burning. I don't mind when people talk about me. It's when they stop talking about you that you have to worry. Well, well, well. Very nice. I want them. What? <laughs> I want all this. No way! Fine. Then I'll just tell my father about Cleo's huge party when he was out of town. He may only ground her for a year. You win. That's it. Here, according to your watch, I mean my watch, I'm going to be late for the salon. I'll be back. Miss me. I don't think I've ever met someone as low down and despicable as Nefera. Just when you thought our day couldn't get any worse. Coralie and her girls are back. She's gonna be gunning for us. We've got bigger problems to deal with, like stopping my sister. Yeah, I got more shopping to do, but forget it. Nefra is just gonna take it anyways. Did you see that Nefra's back in town? She's always wearing the new trends weeks before anybody else. Let's go see what Nefra buys so we can steal her look. Let's go shopping. What's going on? <laughs> you all look ridiculous. These are the hottest trends of the season. They're in all the magazines. We're the first to wear them. They haven't even seen them here yet. But being a world famous model, you already knew that, didn't you, Nefera? Of course I knew that. I was merely um, testing you. Please, don't take these from us. They can't be replaced. Hand them over. I can pull off this look. You guys, not so much. You're absolutely right. Now, I think I'll walk around the mall and bask in all the jealous looks I get. Ta-ta. Never is never going to be able to show her face in the mall again. Oh, my roar! This is the best day of my life. Um, just when you thought this day couldn't get any better. You look hot. <laughs> <laughs> hey, new girl! Carry your books for you, baby? My name not is Baby, it is Abby. Ugh. <sighs> 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 I can't believe we're back at school already. I like starting school. All the mystery and excitement. I bet this year is gonna be shocking. <laughs> Why are these things so small? It's the same locker you had last year. Yes, but I have a whole year's worth of new clothes now. Plus makeup, shoes, color-coordinated handbags. Books, school supplies. Yes, there's room. Need a hand? Ooh, so strong. It's from the ghostly gossip. New girl gives heat burns the cold shoulder. <laughs> I wonder who she is. Who has time for new ghouls? Right. <laughs> hey, I was a new girl. Ooh, I'm dying to know who I have for biology. Has anyone seen Laguna? Oh. You're right, Guya. She's probably with Gil. They haven't seen each other all summer. I've taken the liberty of enrolling you in every advanced math class we offer. Oh, uh, no. I know you. To the challenge. Hey, Torlai. How was your summer vacation? <laughs> oh, right. You didn't get one because you were at math camp the whole time. You're the ones who got me sent there by messing around with the test scores. Serves you right. You were trying to get the fear leading team disbanded. Who says I'm done? Anyway. It's not like I learned anything at that stupid math camp. What's the square root of 568? 23.832. Hey! <laughs> Laguna, what's wrong? It's Gil. His parents were so mad they sent him away to another school. <gasps> <laughs> Laguna! 
Hey, Jackson. Oh, hey, Frankie. Missed you at Cleo's party. Yeah, I was gonna show up, but I, uh, had to change. Hey, new girl, our seats. I stay. Do you know who I am? Mean girl with sandpaper tongue? Oh. Take your seats, everyone. Class books open to page one. Claudine was right about new ghouls. Ugh. You want game? I give you game. You too. Principal's office. Now! <laughs> I, I can't believe this. I've never been in trouble before. Aren't you worried? You threw Snowball at me first. Principal will bring Hammer down on you. <gasps> but I didn't. This is all a big misunderstanding. I understand perfectly. You want war with Abby? You get war. We simply cannot have this kind of behavior. Monster High stands for acceptance, understanding, and tolerance. To help you learn these qualities, you will spend the entire day together. What? Not possible. These magic bracelets will bond you together. You must stay less than three feet apart until three o'clock. You will spend every second together until then, and I think learn something valuable. And if more than three feet apart? The study howl of eternal homework. <laughs> oh, and fiery demons will descend upon both your homes, but mostly that study howl of eternal homework thing. Okay, being stuck with you is less than the ideal sitch, but I say we make the best of it. Just tell me, why did you start the snowball fight? I don't get it. I mean, I'll totally understand. I'm very understanding. It's kind of my thing. <laughs> this I don't get. This Frankie acts so nice. But then why she does these lies to me? It was you who was instigator. Well, guess you don't want to tell me. We'll deal with that later. So, where are you from? Mountaintop in Himalayas. Oh, cool. Which one? I think you would not know. Oh, okay. Um, I really like your necklace. This small talk is not necessary. People here talk too much about too little. Sometimes it's better to just close the mouth. Wow. Rude. But I am not rude. I am helping to save her breath. So confusing. Frankie does not like me already. We must get to class. You're right. I can't get another tardy or I'll be in Toad's trouble. Let's go. We'll make her like me more by showing most efficient route to class. Hey, wait, wait. We have to stay together. Stop. I fix. <sighs> Aw, you ruined it. I can't drink this. But that is how we drink it in the mountains. It's the best. I hoped she would love this. Hey, baby. Uh, I mean, Abby. Uh, I didn't introduce myself earlier. Burns. Heath Burns. Wow, cold hands. <laughs> uh, but I know how to warm your heart. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Glacial facial. <laughs> this Heath, he is Hailstone that thinks it is Iceborg. Yeah, that's him. Uh, I guess. Yeah, you better run. Didn't I tell you I hate red? <laughs> Rules say no horseplay in hall. This includes the bull. <laughs> Wow, you really saved my bolts right there. Do not mention it. Hey! Eh, <laughs> such a cretin. Now is lunch. All my friends are in the creepateria. I can't let them see us together. Hey, Abby! In mountains, we begin new friendships over meal. Um, you know what? I usually just sit outside by myself. Hey, Frankie, over here. Oh, no. I will impress them with my keen observational skills. They are all very pretty. No, too obvious. Let's see. Your eyebrows, they are like mountain. You are short, like baby yeah. This outfit, I think you try much too hard. 
What time do these bracelet thingies come off? Three o'clock. Laguna's swim meet is at two o'clock, and she needs all the support she can get right now. You and your cold-blooded buddy should not come. I've been trying all day to be nice to you, and now you're rude to my friends? You hit me with a snowball for no reason. What did I ever do to you? I try so hard to make friends with them. Perhaps I am not meant to have friends yet. <laughs> Are you crying? I'm sad now. It's so surprising. Well, yes. You seem so cold. I didn't think you cared or, like, had any emotions. <laughs> well, I do. <laughs> I have to go to restroom. You gotta stop doing that! <laughs> Did you see the new ghoul and Frankie trapped together? They didn't even realize it was me that threw the first snowball. Now we just have to get the rest of the fear squad. <laughs> <laughs> Careful, that would have been embarrassing. I got it! When Cleo and her ghouls go down to talk to Laguna after the swim race, we'll come from behind and push them into the pool. Total embarrassment. They'll be sorry they ever messed with me. Come on. Look, I'm sorry I thought you threw the snowball at me. I should have known it was Torelai. That wasn't cool. So, will you come with me to warn my friends? No. What? Why not? Because I have better plan. No running. It's wet. Wow! Great race, Laguna! Thanks for coming, mates. Hey, where's Frankie? Oh, she couldn't come. She's all tied up. Ready? <laughs> Thanks, Abby. I know to you I seem harsh, but where I'm from, air is very thin. We cannot waste our breath with pleasantries. It is just our way. Looks like you are no longer stuck with me. We'll be going now. Hey, wait! We were gonna go to the mall and hang at the coffin bean. You wanna go with? This I would like very much. <laughs> <laughs> I believe we missed that big party last night. We didn't miss anything. The ghostly gossip's got all the pics on her blog already. Hipster Hot Hide heats up another big time bash. That hide is way dreamy. Careful. That's Frankie's crush you're talking about. Ooh. Cut it out, you guys. He is not. <laughs> Speaking of Frankie crushes, Jackson. Frankie, you need to charge over there and shock some sense into him. He stood you up at Cleo's party. I don't know. Come on, Come on do, do it. Do it. Go. Hey, Heath. Hey, Jackson. Heath, can you give us a minute? Oh, scorching. Why didn't you go to the party? Oh, I did go. I remember being outside trying to get my courage up, and then... Oh, nothing. I must have been so nervous, I blacked out. All that loud music, and there's just so many people. Plus, you make me nervous. Me? Why would I make you nervous? I'm the one who gets nervous. Because I really like you, okay? Anyway, I'm, I'm sorry if you had a lousy time. It's all good. The party was cool. There was a great DJ there. Maybe you've heard of him. Hold Hide? Nah. I don't know. Hold Hide is the awesomest! I got to carry his equipment last night, which I totally own, Dad. Thank you. So, hey, if you'd give me another chance, um, I'd love to take you out. There's a silent movie playing at the Revival House. That, that's a little more my speed. Yeah, okay. <laughs> that sounds great. Great. I'll, I'll see you there at 7. Look, ghouls, we're just going to the movies. It's no big deal. Have your boat come loose? It's your first date. It's a huge deal. This is too big a deal for Frankie to do all by herself. Deuce and I will double with her. Claude and I will go, too. It'll be a triple. Claudine, you have got to come, too. I wouldn't miss it. Well, I guess you guys don't need me around to plan this. I'll just be going. This is so interesting. This is historically accurate. Monster normie relations were not good in the 14th century. You're so smart. Sorry all my friends tagged along. As long as I get to sit next to you, I don't care who else is around. Claude, wake oh. up! Oh man, it's not over yet? Afraid not. Boring. Come on, bring it. <sighs> you know what this oldie but moldy needs? A banging soundtrack. <laughs> oh, oh, check oh. that out! Sorry, I, I didn't know they... Hey, you okay? No. Uh, I'm sorry, Frankie! Uh, Jackson! <sighs> 
can't believe I got stood up again. What do you expect from a Norman? I thought Jackson was different, I guess. Frankie, Frankie, Frankie! Oh, it's been too long. You miss me? Um, do you mind? I'm kind of on a date here. Yeah, with me? Wow! Love the music! Jackson, you out here? <laughs> Not cool! <laughs> oh, what happened? Oh. Not again. Jackson! <gasps> what is happening to me? Your sister Nephra still harsh in your mellow? Totally. Ugh. I wish that party never happened. Ew, you smell like a wet dog. Whoa! Jackson, wait up! You don't need to explain. I know that you moved on. You're not making any sense. Look, it's my fault. I get it. Well, I don't. I was just starting to like you. You, you. Trouble with one of your boyfriends? Frankie Stein dates two boys at same time. Is there a third we don't know about? What? Three boys? As if! Ugh. If one of you didn't tell the ghostly gossip about this, then one of you is the ghostly gossip. <gasps> hey, Gills. What's shaking? One of us is a traitor. <laughs> Don't look at me. Oh, please. No one loves gossip more than you. What about Claudine? She knew about your date with Jackson before anybody. Me? What about Cleo? That party was probably her idea. My phone was broken. It couldn't have been me. What about Frankie? You're crazy. Julia, hack the ghostly gossip's blog. Find out who it is. You can't? Maybe because you're the ghostly gossip. I don't believe you. Look what she's doing to you. This needs to stop. What if we set a trap? We just need something that the real ghostly gossip can't resist. Something juicy. Our, Our diaries. diaries! Okay, everyone, put your diary in the middle and count down from ten. The diary that's untouched belongs to our traitor. Ten. Nine. Eight. <gasps> Look! <gasps> hey! You've got some nerve! Who are you, anyway? My given name is Spectra Vondergeist. Why are you trying to ruin my life? I just got it, you know. Ruin your lives? Heavens, no! I'm actually a fan of all of you. You've got a weird way of showing it. I simply had to document you. Let others live through your exploits. You could have asked us first. I was too shy. But you're the ghostly gossip. You're famous. Sadly, I must remain a mystery. As such, I don't have any friends here. We'll be your friends, Spectra, and we'll keep your secret. But you have to promise you won't write any more stuff about us. Most of it wasn't even true. My apologies. Sometimes I only hear half of what you say, and it's up to my artistic side to fill in the blame. Yeah, I mean, Come on, three boys. <laughs> I don't even have one. <laughs> Wait, so I'm not the third? Sorry. Unbelievable. Why does this keep happening to me? Oh, my chest. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> I've been oh. looking for you. Uh, uh, what's up? I need to borrow your biteology book. I left mine. I don't have it. Can you just check? Yeah, but I'm just late for that thing. That I'm late for. Peace. What's gotten into Deuce? Have any of you noticed him acting strange lately? Deuce? Yes, it's probably nothing but earlier. Oh, hi, Deuce. So he was in the catacombs below the school with Operetta. That slimy... That's just not Deuce. You need proof. His locker. He stopped me from looking in it, but he can't stop Spectra. What do you see? It appears to be some type of bouquet addressed to my pet. <gasps> that does it! Cleo, where are you going? To give Operetta a piece of my mind. I want everything! 
everyone to know about this. Operetta is trying to steal my man. Do I even know you? Stay away from Deuce. Y'all are picking on the wrong fiddle. Whoever Deuce is, if he's going out with you, then I might could doubt I'd be interested. You think you can steal him because you're both rebels and into the same dumb music. Maybe you should look in the mirror. What is that supposed to mean? Y'all got a spider on your face. <gasps> And my music can whoop y'all's music. I have never been so humiliated. She really had no idea who Deuce was. What if this is a misunderstanding? We need to track her. And catch them together? <sighs> what is this place? It's the Monster High Catacombs. They built the school on top of it. Shh, quiet. <gasps> huh, Cleo, what are you doing down here? Surprised? We tracked you and your new girlfriend, Operetta, down here. Your pet? My what? Oh, no, 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 no. It's not what you think. It's kind of embarrassing, but this is... was my pet, Smokey. He was the first thing I ever loved, the first thing I ever ruined. Today is the anniversary. I was just a boy. I couldn't control my powers. And poor Smokey, he was just trying to play. It's supposed to wear off on the anniversary. I just don't know which one. Oh. <laughs> the bouquet? Snapdragons, his favorite treat. I'm sorry if I was acting weird. I accept your apology. I was right. Maybe you should apologize to Operetta, too. I'd sooner set my hair on fire. And besides, I still don't trust that ghoul. Ooh. I like to hurt my feelings. Now I'm on Caddy Wumpus. I figure Cleo must pay, so I'm gonna take her man, just cuz I can. Yo, Frankie! What do you want, Holt? I think we got off on the wrong foot. I know I came on a little strong. <laughs> a little? Look, I don't know what comes over me. I mean, sometimes I just feel like there's another person inside of me just, you know, trying to get out. Huh. Stupid, huh? Not at all. I, I totally understand. I think we all feel like that sometimes. <laughs> I always wanted an electric guitar. Here he comes. Oh, oh <gasps> man, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Tain't nothing. I near about ran you over. <laughs> I can be such a hayseed. Here you go. Thanks. What are you listening to? <gasps> Graveyard Smash! You've heard of them? They rock my little old face off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Yo, Frankie! <laughs> Yo, yourself. So, hey, listen, Frank and Fine. I was thinking. You were, huh? I was thinking that I really like you, you know? And I thought maybe we could hang out sometime. Yeah, that might be nice. Really? Yeah! Girl likes me! <laughs> <laughs> It's pretty crazy how much we have in common. I know, right? Are you doing anything lighter? Oh, oh, hey, I mean, I would love to, but you seem like a totally great ghoul, but I'm with Cleo. <laughs> that can't be serious, right? Yeah, I think so. But you guys are nothing alike. Total opposites. I know. She just brings out the best in me, you know? Makes me want to be a better deuce. So you really like her, huh? Totally. So much. And you told her how you feel? I got a hard time expressing my feelings and stuff. And when I try, I just fumble all over my words. I'm so the same way. The only way I can express my emotions is through my music. I wish I had something like that. You okay? I'm just so touched by your story. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna help you write a song that tells Cleo everything you've been wanting to tell her. Then you can give it to her, and she'll be as touched as I am. You really do that for me? Oh, it would be my honor. Come on! Hey, where are we going? Heading down to the catacombs. I put together a little old recording studio down there. Oh!
Frank E. Fine. You ready to party? Oh, yeah. Whoa, hey. I was rocking out to this mix Holt made for me, and I guess I got carried away. You two are really getting along, huh? He's really sweet once you get to know him. Sounds like someone has her first crush. It's not a crush. And it's not my first. What about... Hey, Frankie. Hey, Jackson. <gasps> Jackson. I just heard that boys are fighting by the creepateria. So? They're fighting over Guya. Oh, so romantic. Go, no. Get him, Don. This must be an incredible fight. <laughs> uh, when do they start? This is it. Zombie fights are slow. <laughs> Oh, because they were both crushing on Guya. What if this happens to Holt and Jackson? My fist plus your face equals epic win. One next to your mouth is wrong! Yeah! I gotta figure out what to do. Ha! So you like two boys, do you? And want to know what to do about it? Talk to your friends. Wow, the Oracle's really lazy. Hey, Laguna! Um, I think I like two boys. Two? Wow, good for you. Some of us are lucky if we can find one, much less get his parents to accept us or even keep him in the same school, but two boys? Good on you, mate. I'm very happy for you. <laughs> okay. We still on for tomorrow night? Hey, Dracula. Just a sec. Actually, Claude, tomorrow we're supposed to go visit Grandma at the farm we sent her to last year. What about the next night? Brother's birthday. Tuesday. Other brother's obedience graduation. How many brothers do you have? Which litter? Hey, we're a big family. You want to date a wolf, it comes with the territory. Never mind. I'm beginning to think that the Oracle is really bad at her job. Cleo. Shh. They can't know we're here. All oh, right. Wait. Who? Them. Spectra tipped me off. I'm just waiting for the right time to strike. Now, what is it you need? You see, there are these two... <gasps> Did you see that? He gave her a thumbs up! That doesn't mean anything. That does! <gasps> Give me a hand, will you? You make my life complete. Our love is stronger than concrete. <gasps> Excuse me, Frankie. I have a boyfriend to destroy in a very public way. <gasps> oh, I'm sorry. Did I answer your question? You bet you did. Oracle, now I know what you were trying to tell me all along. Relationships are hard enough by themselves. Why do I want to make things even harder? I've got to make a choice. Jackson or Holt? I just gotta tell Jackson I can't see him anymore. Quick and easy. Aww, look at Jackson just standing there looking all cute. Maybe I should break up with Hyde instead. Dr. Double H, who do you have more fun with? Oh, electricity. You hit it right on the bolt, Holt. All right, I've made up my mind. Don't do it, I get you. And I'm smart and kind. Kind of a dog. Hey! Come on, cut it out. This isn't helping. Oh, yeah! Stop it. You Stop messing around. Try to catch me. You two are tearing me apart. Frankie, wait. I just need a moment to think. By myself. Oh, yeah! Hey, Cleo. Can't talk right now. Why? Where are you going? To find Deuce and tell him it's over. Over? Crikey. Cleo! Cleo! Deuce. Oh, Cleo, I've been looking all over for you. How dare you embarrass me like that? And with Operetta of all ghouls! What? Let me explain. There's nothing to explain. You made your choice, and may I just say it was a tacky one. Whoa, 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 Cleo, you're wrong. If you just listen for five seconds, Forget I... Forget it! I've wasted enough of my precious time with you. You fixed to get something done right? Gotta do it yourself. Is this a song about me? Yeah, it's all the stuff I wanted to tell you, but just didn't know how. You wrote this? Yeah, uh, with Operetta's help. It's the most beautiful thing I've ever heard. This is what you guys were doing together? Surprise. Uh, I can't believe I ever doubted you. If I gave apologies, I would give you one right now. I'll take it. 
You should sing my song at the school assembly on Friday. Then everyone can hear you and, of course, be reminded of my wonderfulness. Oh, no, I don't sing live, ever. My voice kind of does stuff to people. It's only safe to listen to on a recording. I've got to go play this song for all my ghouls. They'll be so jealous. Yeah, I don't understand. I'm not sure I do either. So you like both of us. Uh, um... Frankie, check out what my super amazing boyfriend did. <laughs> How can you like both of us? I liked you first, but you bailed on me so many times, and Holt was always around. We're two completely different guys. Music. Oh, no. Jackson, what's happening? <gasps> Jackson! Hide? Yo, what is everybody looking at? Oh, wait. That'd have been me. Oh! in the house. Are you okay? Whoa, what happened? Jackson, I have something pretty big to tell you. Okay, tell me what's going on. Maybe I better let you tell you. Hide? What does that guy want to tell me? So, I guess if I'm watching this, that means I'm not me anymore. I'm you. What? Just keep watching. Apparently, we are the same Dude. Whoa. So Hyde and I are the same person? Yeah, afraid so. So every time I wake up in some dark alley alone and confused, it's all because of him. I have so much to say to that guy, and I can't even confront him about it because because he's me. Hey, you can tell that stuff to me, then I can tell Hope. Well, you tell him that it makes me sick that we're the same person. He's everything I'm against. Loud, obnoxious, crude, rude, conceited. Rude, crude, conceited. Conceited? Oh, oh. How does he think I feel? I just found out that I'm half normie and half. Door. Frankie doesn't seem to mind. She likes smart guys, like me. Frank and fun? She likes cool guys, uh, like me. She was only hanging out with you because I didn't show up. And we all know whose fault that is. She was gonna break up with you. She was gonna break up with you. Frankie! Frankie, Frankie we can't keep doing this. You have to decide between us. But it's so hard. I like both of you. How can you like both of us when we are such totally different dudes, yo? Wait, you're the same guy underneath. I think that's what made me like you both. She's right, yo. Yeah. So I can't pick one of you over the other. The stress has got me tearing my stitches out. So you're breaking up with us? Yes. Well, no. Don't think of it as breaking up. I'm just hitting pause. Until you two get your act together, there's no room for me. Oh. oh. Seriously, you guys have to start communicating. I want you to start texting. And when you work it out, I'll still be here. Oh, it ain't right! Okay. Okay. Yeah, all right. Frankie, Principal Bloodgood has called an emergency meeting of the fear leading squad. Come on! All right, boys, remember, K-I-T. Are we in trouble? <laughs> Ghouls, it is a testament to your hard work, determination, and discipline that you have once again brought Monster High fear leading back into prominence. <gasps> And I want you to know that you have the full support of the administration as you prepare for Monster Mashinals. We will not let you fail. That is why I am bringing in a new coach. The most decorated fear captain in Monster High history, Nephra Denial. <gasps> Meet the new queen, same as the old queen. Okay, ghouls, I'll let you chat with your new coach. Nephra, so good to have you back, as if from the dead. Nightmare! I'll be in my office. <laughs> I have never lost at Monster Mashinals, and I don't intend to start now. I'm going to whip you into shape starting today. Whip, whip. Always been.
been that way since I was little. <gasps> why? Because she is made of pure evil, that's why. No, I mean, she's a big time model in Europe. Why would she waste her time with a bunch of high school ghouls? Evil. <laughs> Not now, Goya. <sighs> Nefra Denial kicked out of Fashion Week for her monstrous attitude. <gasps> Nefra's modeling career is an epic fail. Now she's never going to leave us alone. I understand your concern, but this is for the good of the school. When I told the school board, they actually seemed lifelike. <laughs> but my sister is evil! I don't think you're helping. If you want to win Monster Nationals, then do what Nefra says. I implore you. What's this? It's your new routine. What? We already got a routine. Getting to Mashinals and winning it are two totally different things. In case you've forgotten, I've won four of them. This choreography doesn't make any sense. Is it me or does she totally not know what she's doing? I know, but we've got to try. Absolutely dreadful. This isn't working at all. Now I have to change the routine. Roll! Yuck! Oh, gross. I have to change the routine again. If you keep changing it, we'll never learn it. No! Oh, I can't take your incompetence anymore. No! All right, everybody. Line up. I may have made a tiny mistake. I thought I could come here and take you to victory at the Monster Nationals. I realize now that I can't. She's leaving! So, I'm afraid I have some bad news. I can't lead you anymore. She's gonna quit. Now everything will be back to normal. Yay! No, no, no. I can't lead you. So, I'm replacing the entire Fear Squad with new members and demoting you to the B-team. Replacing us with who? And with them. <gasps> Meow. Let the transition begin. Surrender your gear. You don't deserve them. Let's go. You let, let go. go. Enough. Good luck winning without my world-class routines. You're right. We can't do it without... the book. We're giving up? We're not giving up. We were beaten. But think of everything we've been through together. Thinking about it just makes me sad. We're still a team. We can still compete. I let you down. All of you. I'm a... <gasps> failure! <laughs> Well, it's going to take more than some thread and a jolt of electricity to bring this back to life. <laughs> never give up, never, never, never gonna... Oh, I remember this was a good cheer. The school needs us, we need us, and I need some help. <laughs> we'll totally help. Hey, guys, I was just thinking, you're right. I mean, it's just silly old fear leading. I've never lost before. It's the new fear leading team. <laughs> I know. I had the worst practice of my life. The new fear leading team is going to cost us a title. Ugh. Too bad there's nothing we can do. I see what you're doing. If Draculaura is willing to give it another shot, then I will. Claude needs me. I'll take that as a yes. Now, we just need to meet at the trophy case. I'll text Cleo. Okay, what's the emergency? Look, remember this one? Never give up. I was there. This is about more than fear leading. It's about us. Listen to our own cheers. Anything about surrendering? No! We can be great together, but Cleo, we need a leader. I failed you. Failed to live up to my legacy as captain. But you didn't fail. You won the spirit staff. Another reminder of my failure. Cleo Denial, the only captain to win the spirit staff and never even make it to nationals. I don't ever want to see this cursed thing again. No. Scary Murphy. You couldn't just press the button. You had to throw it on the ground. I'm sorry. I failed again. We give up. The only thing that disappoints me, Cleo, is that you're giving up! Look at them. They need you. Never give up. Never, never, never gonna. But we're a second-class team. As you were at Gloom Beach. 
But you found a way to win that. I guess you're right. Of course I'm right. Look, you have everything you need to win. Each other. And I'll help you, if you're up for it. Yes? Oh, thank you, thank you, Miss Murphy. And thank you, Frankie Stein. Now, let's reclaim what is ours! Yes! Yes! yes. 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 We must start practice right away. Varsity Fear Squad practice only. No B-team allowed. There are plenty of places to practice at school. <sighs> it's a text from Nephra. I've made it against the rules for you to practice on school grounds. If we can't train, we can't win. <laughs> There's the place where I practice my music. It ain't technically on school grounds. More like underground. The catacombs! Oh, Alpharetta, you rock! <laughs> Folks, this is your moment. Don't worry about the competition. Worry about yourselves! Guya, you may want to change. Hey. What? She knows all the moves. Now flip! Again! You must push yourselves to the very limit! I don't know why I'm still working with you. Because you are amazing! <laughs> You're ready for nationals! We've trained for this. We're ready. It's our destiny. Look! All our friends came to support us! Let's go, Monster High! Get ready to cheer your bleeding hearts out! The winner will be Monster Nationals Champion! if we do our best. I didn't think you'd make it this far, little sis. Our routine was the cat's meow. Good luck topping that. I underestimated you. Rest assured, it won't happen again. I brought backup. You wouldn't dare! Break a paw out there, Monster High B-Team. Yeah, oh, yeah thanks, thanks a lot. You'll be lucky if that's all they break. We don't need what's in the bag. We can beat them on our own. Only a denial can beat a denial. <laughs> hey, are you okay? It's over. Nefra's taken every single idol, amulet, and charm from my father's house. She has enough spells in that bag to ruin a thousand performances. I should have known she'd never play fair. Forget your sister. You just go out there and do your best. But Nephra's spells. We'll worry about those. You just worry about winning this thing. Really? You guys would do that? For you? Sure. Whatever. All right, ghouls, let's rock! Here's what we gotta do. Claude, you're on point. Abby, over here. Cute. Let's see them deal with this. No defense against this one. <laughs> okay, one left. <laughs> I 
I wanted to beat you, but not like this. And the winner is... Monster High! Move it! Out of my way! I am the coach of Monster High! So, technically, this award is mine! My fifth championship! More than anyone ever! Yay, me! <sighs> Cheating! There is no place for cheating and fear leading. Never a denial. You are hereby stripped of all your previous trophies. belongs to you. You deserve it. The champions, Monster High!